Hi everyone, welcome to my day trading recap video. Now I do do a day trading recap every single day. I do not just handpick my winning day and post it up here. So if you like the full transparency of every single trade that I place and wanna follow my journey, make sure you click the subscribe button and see you in the trade. So today up 2,100. Um, started out the day pretty bad for the slow day. I think pre-market because yesterday, remember I take the overnight trade on CVV and gap down negative 300 which is my max loss so I gotta get out and uh the thing is with this right it actually could have like a lot of time it could have double so I could have have a reward of two thousand dollar gain versus um this much three hundred dollar loss so it's not too bad of the trade just in case it worked out so I take it but yeah uh negative start out negative 300 on here and i take my first trade in the morning on dpw and let me see yeah, i'm recording yes okay uh my first trade on dpw and i got negative 174 dollar on it uh so i can see my real account um can turn on privacy and i can drag it down um I'm recording a Mac, so the ratio on the Mac is a little bit different. So I'm not even sure what is in the screen or not. And I do have a multi um, screen display right here, uh, which I'm going to use to travel. I think I have two of this. So I'm going to use it to travel. I'm going to record my setup later. But earlier, I tried to record on here and connect to this. A little bit weird going on with OBS and every single thing. So I have to do some little bit editing on that. Figure out later, but figure out I just record this first. Let's go over the tray um, I make today, uh, which is mainly only on uh, one ticker, I believe, which is uh, this one right here, AGE. Um, the range is very small on AGE, so I can barely make money on it, except in the morning. I was up by 1,700 until this big flush right here. Um, I got to accept it, you know, uh, and I cut loss, not like yesterday, I fight it again. By this time, I up 1,700. And even though, okay, I buy basically, I try to trade as much as possible, right? I was like, I just trade as much as possible, try to take advantage. We haven't seen a big washout. Uh, what is it? Big washout in a long, long time. So maybe I, you can buy the first minor pullback then call it a day. Uh, but right here, I even tell myself, all right, dude, this thing just grinding a couple penny at a time, couple penny at a time. There's gonna big drop coming soon. You better watch out. I told myself that, but I did not listen to me. And I got in around here and I lost around like a big, pretty big loss. I think $800 loss or something like that. Uh, this flush right here. I buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, but then it flushed so fast, uh, can't do it much enough. And I take a big whooping loss, but I make it back throughout the day. Uh, but the thing is, again, is very small later on the range is becomes much much smaller compared to the morning and i was not able to optimize it and later right here there is no volume at all for me to trade it no volume at all and uh what is it called yeah no volume at all but uh, i'm able to make do some shorting on this account too, make some money on it i don't know if i even bother go on it not big big anything big so probably not uh Anything else what is it i was doing good throughout the whole way luckily I'm able to cut loss right here that's the main thing and i started making it all back uh, most of it back throughout this whole ride down right here if i was stubborn like yesterday it would be a big loss but the max size share i have at one point was only five thousand which is not bad five thousand five hundred uh the amount of share that i have doing this thing right here buy sell buy sell but the most i have at one point is uh 5500 what is it called um right here right i didn't expect it to be this much especially for the first dip off of high uh off of the new high i expect to be right here next dip i expect it could be like this but not for the first dip so right then i realized this stock is super heavy somebody is trying to dump share which after that i started to play really careful uh most people did not expect it, but look at this. Later on, it have more of that right here. And I did not get caught on it, of course. Right here, right? And a couple more right here. Where is it? 
think that's the main one. Oh no, 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 no. Right here. Here it doesn't look big because the chart looked like that, but it's actually quite a bit for the range it's at. Basically laddering down. Down, down, pretty big actually. When it come down, it's pretty harsh uh, than most people expect it. So I was playing super careful. Like I even reduced my size as you can see. But yeah, traded pretty well on this ticker, uh, except this one right here. I really try to push as much as possible. But then after this right here, give me really hesitate. This big drop right here. I even told myself that I did not, uh, I already say this, but I, honestly, I told myself that there's a big drop about to happen. Because whenever a stock that keep climbing a little, a little, a little, either it can uh, at one point, somebody gonna give up either the long size or the short side like if you see spi right it keep creeping up a little a little a little until the short start to give in and that thing just start going straight up straight up straight up uh same thing with this in the situation but just the opposite this is like all the long is start run out of uh, steam to push it up so yes a dump come i even told myself that it just be patient be patient with this stock but I end up not to just seeing it climb a little bit little bit little bit oh man uh it doesn't show in real time but during real time it's like up up down up down up down up down up down down just a little bit at each time and i, I feel like some big move about to come but uh whatever but yeah beside that i think i trade pretty good another ticker anything else to go over i think uh this ticker right here is uh oxbr yeah pop up in afternoon i think i short it too right yeah i short it on the other side too uh, i borrow like uh 200 share i mean 2000 share to short it but i think a max i short is like 1500 or 1000 share but yeah just basically pop up on my thing i didn't notice around here until the volume started to come in stable volume i would do first dip i think i short it too i short it up here on the other thing i will scalp shorting and uh shorting right here too and uh this is not good enough volume for me to continue buy dip volume started coming in coming in start buying dips on mine and pullback trading basically every single candle as you i can see i try to trade every single candle as much as possible uh i was not able to go really really big share because uh volume is not great great i don't know and i was lost confidence after that 800 dollars loss but yeah, 2100 is pretty good for a slow day. Right here is no more volume, so I just gave up. In the afternoon. I wonder why did I trade here. Yeah, I mean, I could have traded around here, but oh yeah, I was playing game. I was playing three game today. because I was so bored. Afternoon, literally nothing was moving. Um, yeah, that's about it. 2100, and I had to leave early in the afternoon too for to do some work uh but yeah that is it for today hopefully you guys do well and tomorrow uh, i will not able to record in here probably do a quick record upstairs just go over my uh total profit and loss because tomorrow i'm trapped i'm starting uh taking a flight to florida so i from michigan i'm gonna fly to florida with my uh my wife and the two kid to florida so it's gonna be a very nice vacation and we're gonna have uh what is it called and we're gonna have uh five day vacation we hasn't take vacation for a long vacation like this for a while so it's pretty nice what is it from friday and i'm gonna trade during vacation on monday and tuesday and it's gonna be uh only for one or two hour maximum after that it's just gonna go out uh, but yeah just gonna try to earn some money because most of the money make in within the first 30 minutes anyway anyway you guys have a great day see you guys in the next video